Hi Natalie, Sinead here from Springwood Nissan. Just about to start your personal video tour on the 2006 Suzuki Grand Vitara. So basically Natalie, like I said over the phone, what I'm gonna do is just take you on the inside and the outside of the car. If there's anything that I do have to point out, I will do it in this video. Um, also, I will go through the service books with you so you can see as well. Um, so basically I'll start off with the front of the car. As we're moving close, you can see it's got a genuine Grand Vitara Suzuki nudge bar and as well as a Grand Vitara bonnet protector just here. Looking at the paintwork on the bonnet, Natalie, in really good nick. I can't see any scratches or markings so far, except just under the bonnet. I'm guessing this, this little chip just here would have happened before the bonnet protector was on there. But other than that, on the bonnet, it's nice and clean. So going around to the side, we did put two new front tires on here, just so you know as well. Um, so as you can see, I put my fingers in where the tread is and there's heaps of tread left on there. So you got the tires for quite a long time. As I go around to the side of the car, it's a great color too. <laughs> um, we'll go around to here. Your fuel cap is on the driver's side and when I go on the inside of the car, I'll show you where the lever to that is. But I'm um, going around to the back tires. Um, there's still quite a bit of tread left on them there as well. So they're pretty much near new. Uh, so go around to the back. Now I did have a look and there isn't a fitting for a tow bar, but if you do need one, we can get one fitted for you. Um, so obviously your spare wheel is just here. And as we open that up, I'll show you into the back. So here we go. You got another storage compartment just under here when you pull up the lever. And also any of your tools are just in this section here where the storage is. So you just wanna close that up. Alrighty, so I'll close that up for you now and take you around to the passenger side. Around again on the passenger side of the car, we'll hop into the back seat. So I'll just show you the door here. Again, no markings or scratching. Alright, now we'll have a look at the carpet in the back. So again, there's no markings or stains on any of the carpet, which is good. And also the seats are in excellent condition too. I'm not sure if the owner had any children because from the back it's in really good nick whereas usually if there are some kids there might be some stains or anything on there. Alright, and the middle section will fold up and down for an armrest. Alrighty, now I will hop into the back and I'll show you the view from here. So, as you can see. Alrighty, now what I'll do is I'll move into the passenger seat and I'll, uh, I'll show you through the service books. So I'll just hop there. All right, here we go, Natalie. So what we got here, we got the service and warranty manual, as well as you got your Suzuki Grand Vitara owner's manual, which will come with it. Now this car has only had one owner, and um, I'll show you that as you open up the second, third page. It's got it here. So the car was originally owned by Vince and Cheryl, and um, they were back. They bought this car from Air. And um, so it's only had one owner. Um, now with the servicing, the uh, first service they done on here was done at 26,553, and that was done in 08. The next service that they've done is at 64,748, which was done on the 27th of October, 2010. So at the moment, the car is due for a service, which we can get done for you. That's not an issue. Um, so I'll close that up and put that back in there, but that should answer the question about that. Only one owner, hasn't been owned by a company or anything like that. You've also got the, um, one of the latest registration forms in there for the car too. And also the receipt for the two new front tires. So um, I'll put that in there for you, Natalie. And um, now what I'll do is I'll open up the bonnet and uh, we can have a look at the engine. Uh, just something to point out quickly, there's a couple of little marks just here on the mirror as you can see, uh, but other than that, just having a look around this side of the car, there's a little mark just here, I don't know if you can see that on the video, having a look around, one little other white mark here, and another little white mark, oh no that came off, <laughs> alrighty, so I'll move around to the bonnet now. So the bonnet latch, if you just go under here, just got to pull it and then we'll open it. Right. So Natalie, I'm just going to have to get you to bear with me because I've only got one hand. I need to try and open this up with only one hand. So just bear with me for a sec while I find the lever. I don't know where it is, I only just opened it, but there we go. Alrighty. So as you look under the engine bay, it's been kept in really good condition. It's nice and clean. Go around there, have a look. Okay. 
Alrighty, so I'll close that up now. And uh, now we'll go into the driver's seat and we'll start the car up. Okay. So here we are inside, Natalie. Um, so first things first, on the steering wheel, you do have your volume and also you can seek through channels, change the mode, um, whether you're going from CD to radio, that kind of thing. So I'll just start the car up. There we go. Starts up straight away, which is good. <laughs> All right. I just could turn that air conditioning down. All righty. Now, as we look here, obviously the brake light's on. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. We have uh, 82,236 kilometers. Um, we need a little bit of fuel, but <laughs> I can take care of that. Um, obviously, the indicator is on the left. Um, the knob for your mirror is just on the door to lock the windows and also to lock the car. Lock and unlock and all the controls to the all the windows. As we move into the center, you've got your two cup holders here, your handbrake, also your manual gear stick, as well as you've got a 12 volt here, a 12 volt here. As we move into the center console and open the center up, here we go. So just up inside. And then we've also got here the temperature outside, the time, and then um, your air conditioning vent. Turn the radio on so you can actually hear it when I get the right radio station. There we go. The theme is wear what you wish. Alrighty. And then so you've got AM, FM, CD, and also you, all of your air conditioning options, as well as your 4x4, just here, which is where that you'll, you'll turn that. And then you've also got your gear stick just here. So it's missing a little bit of paint just on the top here, um, but that's just how the car is. Alrighty, so um, I'll just hop out now, Natalie. Alrighty, so I'll just take you around the front again. Now, Natalie, that concludes the video tour. If you do have any other questions or want me to check anything else out about the car, please do not hesitate to give me a call. I understand the troubles that you've been having lately. Um, so basically, once you watch the video, I'll get you to give me a call on 0425 035 505. And um, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Natalie, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.